Calvin Jones here, Park Tool Company with Tech Tuesday. There's an old adage that goes, a chain is only as clean as its dirtiest link. The easiest way, of course, to clean a chain is just buy a new one. Do we always need to do that? No, there's cleaning. But before we even do that work, let's do see if it's wore out. Hardly anything on our bike sees more use and abuse than a chain. Chains consist of an outer plate, an inner plate, a rivet, and a roller. Chains, even brand new chains, have a little bit of free motion at each rivet or pin. That actually adds up to a little bit of play. This is a brand new chain and there's very little motion. As we ride the bike, the rivets actually wear inside. Here, I can pull back and forth. We see some movement between each. This chain is getting wore out. We can actually get a number on that and measure it, and that's going to let us know when we need a new chain. A chain checker, such as the Park Tool CC 3.2, is measuring a fixed amount of chain. This places against one roller. It drops in down here, and it doesn't go in. This is a go, no-go gauge. Not going is good. This chain is not worn. We have a 0.5, that is a half a percent wear indicator. There's no way this chain is worn up to that amount. Well, that's good, because it's brand new. Let's check out this next chain. We drop our tool in to the 0.5, drops right in. It's wore out at least to the 0.5. I flip it around. It goes in the 7.5. This chain is definitely worn out and needs replacement. In this example, it certainly is dirty and could use a cleaning, but let's check the wear. I drop in the 0.5 and we are worn to 0.5, but is there any life left? I flip the tool around. It doesn't go in even if I jiggle it. It is not worn to the 7.5 mark. Probably some more life left in this chain, but if you're riding this bike a lot, Keep checking about once a week. Why is it bad to keep riding that wore out chain? It's not gonna sit down nicely inside the tooth. It's actually going to ride up in the cogs. It's not going to shift as well. It's eventually going to skip over the cog with load and cause lots of headaches. It's cheaper to replace the chain more often than to replace the entire cassette stack. That's your springtime tune up for this week.